people. So we have Stevie J and uh, Faith Evans, the another couple that was formed together by the powers that be, by the elites. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, guys, you gotta understand that these uh, these couples, as far as uh, Faith Evans and Stevie J and Cardi B and Offset and uh, Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon and you know what I'm saying? These celebrities couples are put together for assignments, not because they love each other. Not because they are put together because they, you know what I'm saying, uh, they love at first sight. And, and even Nicki Minaj and um, Kenneth Perry, you know what I'm saying, are put together by the elites for uh, to pursue a, a specific agenda. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some audio. What I want you guys to do is make sure you guys hit that like button as you guys come in here. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. So let me go ahead and press play. Make sure you guys hit that like button. DBJ wants spousal support from Faith Evans amidst their divorce. I guess the divorce is back on. He wants to not have to make monthly payments to her. But he does want to get spousal or domestic partner support that's payable as well. Now, how is that going to work? You know what I'm saying? H how is that going to work? Is that even is that even possible? No, not in this society where the system is built for the woman to come out on top. It's, it'll be like finding a needle in a haystack if the man happens to uh, get rewarded. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people say, well, what about um, Mary J. Blige and Ken Do? Well, that's a different scenario. Mary, Mary J. Blige and Ken Do was put together for the ritual. That was a ritualistic, you know what I'm saying, uh, couple as well. And that marriage or that relationship was a ritualistic couple as well. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to understand that these couples are put together not because they make good soup together. They put together because of the elites that formed them together. So, with Stevie J talking about he wants spousal support, this is because Stevie J is the one that needs, you know what I'm saying, some, uh, some talk about. Because, you know what I'm saying, as far as Faith Evans, Faith Evans, no matter how much um, uh, bad publicity Faith Evans will receive, she still have an advantage over Stevie J. Why? Because she's still connected to Biggie Smalls. And everybody still loves Biggie Smalls. You know what I'm saying? To this day, every year, they pay homage to Biggie Small. To this day, Biggie Small, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, Faith Evans still have, you know what I'm saying, music dedicated to Biggie Smalls. You know what I'm saying? Music connected to Bad Boy. You know what I'm saying? So, regardless of the fact... um. Faith really don't need to have any notoriety. It's Stevie J. And if Stevie J and Faith Evans have split, who needs the publicity? It is not Faith Evans. It's Stevie J. So let me go ahead and press play. And he wants her to pay his legal fees too, and so on and so forth. So I thought they had decided to call off the divorce. I guess it's still going on. Now, Master P is... Call off the divorce. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Lord, I tell you. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is new. Stevie J decides that um, he wants spousal support. You know what I'm saying? That He knows he's not going to get it. You know what I'm saying? And... Everybody, anybody, any of his fans knows that he's not going to get it. So, what's the reason for you to even um, ask for this? It's just to raise conversation. 
And when you, when by him asking for this, it raises conversation. And now conversation is being raised on the behalf of Stevie J. Which does what? Which gives Stevie J some fire, a little bit of fire, so that now he can, you know what I'm saying, whatever he's promoting or whatever attention that he's getting, um, if he's trying to sign on to a reality contract, you know what I'm saying, he got some tension up on him. That's all this is, just to get some attention up under Stevie J. So when he requests for a a a um a Bravo deal or a Netflix deal or some type of podcast deal or some type of interview, you know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying, if uh uh media companies request to interview him, he can charge them. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand, these so-called celebrities, they they charge for the interviews. Yeah. And if you ain't got no heat up under you, then whatever you're charging for an interview is not going to be um, creditable. But anyway, this is news. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys hit that like button as you come come in here. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bells. And I'm um, your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. And uh, don't forget, if you want to donate to this ministry, the donation link is in the description box below. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.